Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to another episode of Pop Culture Junkies by the Dip, the $100 challenge. Let's go. So here we are back again, another week, another $100 challenge done, completed. I went to pick up my comics this week. I actually only had like two or three new books. And so I had like the full $100 to spend on something for the $100 challenge. I was looking through a few books. I almost bought another Exiles number three, the variant edition and something, something else. And then I came across this Thanos number 13. For those of you that don't know, this is the first appearance of the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Spoiler alert, Cosmic Ghost Rider is Frank Castle, which is amazing. So this book was really hot about uh, six months to a year ago. I mean, this was priced originally in June of 2022, and it was going for 140 bucks. Now, one thing that has happened in one of my local shops, they actually do three-month pricing because they can't keep up with all the changes with how volatile the market gets, right? So... If the price is older than three months, they actually reprice the book. They do that because they just don't have time to go through it. I get why they do it. I get why some people would be upset at like, hey, if this set it was only 70 bucks and now you're repricing it on me. But I also get it from the store standpoint. Like they, they're trying to keep up too, but they're trying to keep up with thousands of comics at once. They can't go through and reprice those every single day all the time, right? They're making money is how they keep the lights on. I don't have a problem with that business practice. I know some people do. I don't. Uh, it's fair. You want to charge whatever you want to charge. And if I don't want to buy it, I'm not going to buy it. So like this book in particular, it was on the rack. I knew that it was more than three months old. So technically they would go back and reprice it. The other thing I knew, though, that I brought up to them is I'm definitely not going to pay that price from June for it. So if you want to reprice it at a more modern today price, I will definitely think about picking it up, which they did. And fair enough, I picked it up for right around 100 bucks. And so definitely this goes right into the theme of this show, guys, buying the dip. This book dipped. I'm now buying it. I'm anticipating it's going to jump again at some point in the future. And so I'm going to buy it and keep it. And it's going to be one of the keys in my collection. I'm actually moving towards changing my collection from a lot of runs to just a lot of keys. There's a lot of runs of books I don't really care about. And I'd much rather a lot of times when I go back to my books, it's not to read them. I go back to for the memory of them. And so like pulling out this book and thinking about, oh, this is the first Cosmic Ghost Rider. I'm going to get more value out of that just personally over time. This is, isn't even about flipping. It's just for me, I I get more value out of that than pulling out a random issue with a random story with random people that isn't significant in any kind of way to the characters involved. And so that's kind of what I'm converting my practice and my, my collection to. And so this is going to make a great addition to that. Um, but here we are buying the dip. This will go in. This will get graded. We will see what kind of value it comes out to afterward. I am going to press it. If you've been watching my past videos, I am pressing everything I send in from here on out forever and ever, period, point blank. I'm not getting burned again by that. The second thing I wanted to talk about today on the $100 challenge by the dip is know what's in your collection. So I came across a post on Facebook recently and it asked about a comic book. The comic book in question was a comic called Black Man. This is the comic here. I will post some pictures up large for you guys to see but essentially this is an old comic from the 80s independent comic essentially it's a black superhero right not the the name says what it is someone gave this to me like as a gag gift maybe 15 20 years ago if someone had offered me five dollars for this book two weeks ago i would have just given it to them for free and said that's not even worth the five bucks turns out this book is actually worth hundreds of dollars in this in the right condition there's been some that have sold for over $500,000, $600,000 on eBay. And so I didn't know the value of what this was in my collection. So part of my $100 by the dip, knowing what my books are in my collection. So this one's going in to get pressed. It will go up on eBay most likely. Hoping to make a nice profit off of this one. But it's a good reminder that know what's in your collection, guys. Sometimes it's not just about buying the dip. It's about knowing what you have. 
and keeping track of it. Again, that makes it another reason that's going to be easier for me to go back to just having keys in a sense because they're a lot, it's a lot easier to keep track of those because they're, they already are what they are. When you have a long run and a character pops up, I remember the first time I discovered Dr. Afra and that that book was expensive and Darth Vader number three. I had no idea. I thought she was a great character and I've like enjoyed her book and her solo series, but I didn't realize her book had jumped to the value it did, hundreds of dollars for that book. It was insane to me. I was happy to buy one. I was happy to have mine. I was happy to flip mine and spend the money on other stuff and then buy another raw copy. But I didn't know the value of what was in my my collection. So that's one of the things that I will be doing. Um, something I learned with this Black Man comic, I need to go back through, discover what other keys I have sitting around of value just sitting in my collection that I personally may not know about and to make sure I'm treating them properly accordingly. And some of them I might just be willing to part with and sell, right? This one I would didn't wasn't selling it because I thought it wasn't worth anything. Now that I know there's some value attached to this book, this is it's going. I'm getting my money for this. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the flip side.